thousands of children affected by two rare genetic disorders now have a place to go for specialized care. Children's Hospital Colorado opened a new 15Q clinic and research facility. Health specialist Kathy Walsh reports on this new help and hope for families searching for a cure. <laughs> Two-year-old Cammie Thompson is quick to smile and laugh, but her joy is actually a symptom of Angelman syndrome a rare, incurable, neurogenetic disorder that affects the 15th chromosome. We found out around 14 to 15 months that she was missing a piece of that chromosome. Liz Thompson says at birth, Cammie was upset and agitated. At four months, Liz started noticing developmental delays. I didn't see her engage with toys the way our first child did. She didn't hold on to things the same way. Cammie was behind in communication and started having seizures. Genetic testing confirmed Angelman. Hands down, worst day of my life. You think you can handle Ooh. stuff until it comes to your kids. Cammie is working on walking. She doesn't speak and has had up to 100 seizures in a day. The Thompsons turn to Children's Hospital for help. We have a geneticist, neurologist, epileptologist. Those specialists and five more, all in the new 15Q clinic for both Angelman and Dupe 15Q, another syndrome involving chromosome 15. It really provides a medical home for these kids. And hope. Pediatric geneticist Dr. Jessica Dewis says several companies are working on meaningful therapies. We won't stop until these kids are speaking. We want to hear what they have to say. We survive on hope. <laughs> Cammie's mom is an Angelman advocate and an Angelman optimist. I think we will hear her talk one day. I think she will walk one day. I think she's going to have a really bright future. I'm Kathy Walsh covering Colorado First.